Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the deep world of foldable smartphones with the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 right here. And trust me, it really is a game changer. I, I didn't know what I would think. Like, I'll be honest, I was not necessarily a skeptic, but I didn't think that using a foldable device would be my thing. But since August 11th of this year, when I got this device, my tech life kind of got turned upside down with what I thought I could do with a smartphone and what I thought I would want to do, right? So I thought I'd just test it out without my SIM card and, you know, watch some videos and do some stuff with reading. But then it became my daily driver, like almost immediately. So it was no turning back. So just look at the, the screen real estate. I think it's 7.6 inches, like across, like this is big. Like this is like two smaller, like thinner phones put together. Obviously, I'll go ahead and show you the folding aspect of it you pull it together that way and we'll bring it back out right put it back on this is pretty cool but then oh don't want to show you my password so we're not going to do that but reading has never been more enjoyable on a smartphone like whether i'm into reading manga so i'll show you the tachiyami app which is one of my favorites right look let's let's not do we and kenshin that's a little controversial but we can do pokemon right look at looking at manga on this thing this is crazy like you can literally just read zoom in on what you want right pull it back out this type of software this hardware and software combination coming together is super amazing i love this i love reading manga on here reading manga on a foldable device is phenomenal but then if you like reading library books so come up here i have a whole folder for reading right i have the libby app Libby is amazing. I don't have any books checked out right now, but when I did, what I like the most about it is that you can borrow the book right from your library if you have a library card, and you can just swipe. It swipes left to right as if you're actually reading a book, and that's pretty cool. And with this screen real estate, it feels like you're holding a small book rather than reading on a smartphone. It never felt like you're reading on a smartphone. And that same thing, you know, we can, I'll do it again with something I can show you, Project Gutenberg on the Mine app. So I sideloaded the Mine app, and Mine has access to Project Gutenberg. So as you can see, Project Gutenberg is an online database of over 70,000 books. So let's say you want to read Dracula. Right here, Dracula, Bram Stoker. I, I started it, but look at how it works. Like if I roll down, you can you can see what you want to do. Look at how this look, look at how the text looks. I like the text size, I like the, the contrast of it. Like this is pretty cool because what you get to do here is basically just take your time and read through this whole text. Like having access to an online database of all the classics and you can read whatever you want and it doesn't feel like you're reading on a smartphone. It really transformed me into a digital book lover because I was not an e-book person. And of course, you saw me reading manga. So you probably think this guy probably likes anime. Well, I do. Look at this particular anime. This is Jujutsu Kaisen. But look at the way this looks. What I like the most though is you can watch it in this aspect, but if you turn it, ah, look at that. Purely phenomenal. So uh, this is pretty cool. Like I said, I'm going to stop here because I don't want to, you know, get any copyrights or anything. So we'll turn it off. So if you're watching Jujutsu Kaisen, but that's how you really get to enjoy things like that. Obviously, YouTube's the same way. Let's open YouTube and see what happens. What was I looking at? I don't know. We don't want to look at iPhone stuff. <laughs> but it's all here. And so as you can see, this is pretty cool. Right? It's big. And then it's like having a personal theater in your pocket, basically. Who wouldn't want that? But it's not just for fun. This phone's a multitasking beast, right? You can do three apps at once. So let me just let me just do some random ones here. Let's uh let's open up a Google Chrome, right? Um, I was on Ted Decker books, right? If you want to learn more about Ted Decker, that's cool. But then you're like, all right, I also want to uh, have YouTube open while I'm doing that. Let's put it on the side here. Bam. So now you can do YouTube. You can watch some Nick Saban <laughs> if you care about Alabama football. Uh, while also then, let's say you randomly. Well, let's pause Nick Saban. You want to take a picture. So you can use the, multi the quick bar down here. As you can see, I'm about to pull something up from the quick bar. And you can pull it down here. So you can even take a picture at the same time. I don't know why you want to do that, but you could. Like, all those things are here. So the multitask is the same side by side. It can also be um, up and down. So if I wanted to put the YouTube, like, on top here, right, you also saw that I can do, like, a middle part in the middle. So let's look at all the different orientations of what it can do. I'm really just showing this off, right? So you can do this. You can do this. You can do that. See, you look at the different things here. It's so cool. Like, who wouldn't want to experience that, right? Um, but then... Those things are all there. So then 
what else do you want to see it doing, right? And that, that orientation, that flexibility, my mind was blown. The choice is all yours. The quick at bar is there. So if you, you know, are a multitasker, this is your dream. For your work, this is a lifesaver. Like, let's pop into something like Google Sheets, you know? Let's, uh, let's pull up a random sheets. But imagine if you're at work and this is like your prospects list or people that you need to meet with or uh, important clients. You'll be able to just put it all here. This is obviously an NCAA 14 combine grade chart because, you know, I like playing football, as you can see from my videos that I watch. It's pretty cool. But your calendar, your email, your sheets, mm -hmm. it can all be done here. And like I said, it's in a phone form. Mm -hmm. So you get a phone plus a computer a theater movie device. Samsung really did something well with the Z Fold 5, and I can literally do this type of stuff all day. But I want to show off the software because everyone's talking about the hardware, everyone's talking about the chip, everyone's like making comments about the camera and all that, but I'm just like, what does this device do? And this type of stuff, I love it. Do it all day. Let me show you the backside. <laughs> if you want, like I said, it's all here. This is, this is really cool. But anyway, that's the phone. Thanks for watching. Let me know what are your favorite features are about the Z Fold 5. Like my video, subscribe to the channel, and share your Z Fold 5 experiences if you have it, or Z Fold 4, 3, 2, whatever one you have, whatever photo device you have. Pixel Fold, I want to try that one too now. Um, OnePlus Fold, when that comes out, I'm excited about it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So, until next time.